Is plastic bad? No, plastic waste is bad. Think about the glass bottle, the tin can and the plastic bottle. When you buy a drink to go, which one do you choose? You can't close the can. The glass is heavy and breaks easily. Plastic is light. You can put a cap on a plastic bottle. Plastic can take any shape. Plastic can bring water to regions suffering from drought quickly and efficiently. Plastic needs less energy to produce and transport and generates less CO2. Plastic is good, but wasting it is bad for economies, for business and for the environment. This is Emmanuel Dufault, the sustainability director of Retail. He says that used bottles made of PT plastic are not rubbish, but valuable raw materials. So why are we failing at recycling? The infrastructure for collecting and recycling effectively are not there. PET is not collected on a good enough way to allow high quality of recycled PET. PET requires much less energy to produce, process and recycle than glass or aluminum. PET resin and plastic in general melt at, the, at relatively low temperature, around 200, 300 degrees Celsius, whereas glass and aluminum, for example, uh, melt at over 1000 degrees Celsius. You release much more carbon emissions to produce other packaging material. The carbon footprint of recycled PET is half of the carbon footprint of virgin PET. In 2018, more than 3.3 million tonnes of PET bottles were sold on the European market, but only 60% of them were collected. More than 1.8 million tonnes of valuable raw materials were wasted in 2018 alone. Valuable raw materials that could become new packaging, as just 45% of PET bottles are recycled into new products. We really want to promote uh, PET packaging as a circular packaging and foster the recycling of P used PET packaging so that PET can find its way back into the, the production process and not end up in the environment as waste. At Retail subsidiary in Klaipeda in Lithuania, Gediminas Palauskas, a board member at NEO Group, says that we are already on the right path. European Union Commission is doing a great job when they are putting on the table obligations for whole industry. So recycling, PT production and PT packaging producers will have to change their ways of working. Still 2025, it will have to be used 25% of the recycled content in the total, let's say, bottle. Till 2030, it will have to be used 30%. From 2024, will have to be used tethered caps, which means that caps will have to be attached to the neck in order not to lose them before the sorting. Working only with mechanical recycling, we will not be able to reach the targets. Recycling processes, technologies and capabilities are continually evolving, supporting our ability to recycle more material more effectively. The experts at Retail are actively involved in the development of a new solution for hard to recycle PT packaging. It's named Chemical Recycling. The idea is to extract from the waste of PET initial two raw materials which we can use in our production. Giving you a simple example, pizza. We have pizza bread, we have toppings, we have cheese. Using this technology, we can extract flour, water, oil, and salt and produce new pizza again with the same quality. We will be able to control the quality of these two raw materials and we'll have ability to use this again and again. There are two key projects on which we are working. One of them, it is a recycled material, which is flakes. We are going to put this into our virgin granules and then to have up to 15% of the recycled content into the granule. And as a project is part of Horizon 2020 program, we are working in consortium of 12 companies to develop technology which will let us chemically recycle all PET. Why is plastic recycling the pillar of the circular economy? Victoria Eurovishuta 
General Manager of Retail Baltic, says that plastic recycling requires fewer resources and less energy than glass or aluminium production. And this is our opportunity to build a sustainable future. Victoria, just like Emmanuel and Gediminas, is a believer of the circular economy. The economy which is dedicated to closing the loop, turning used plastic packaging and plastic waste into valuable new products. They also believe that only in collaboration with all the stakeholders along the entire value chain can we succeed and get rid of the plastic waste. Plastic has a lower carbon footprint comparing to other types of material as it needs less mass for the packaging, it uses less energy resources for the packaging to be produced. But how does it really work? What are the major steps in the PET packaging life cycle in a circular economy? And how do mechanical and chemical recycling fit into the process? Step number one, production of PET resin. Step number two, production of PT packaging. Step number three, production of branded packaged goods. Step number four, consumption and collection. Consumers who are deciding what to do with the packaging actually, to sort it, to waste it. Once the material is collected, it has to be sorted out and recycled. Recycling can be either mechanical, which returns us to the step number two, either chemical recycling, which returns us to step number one. It all sounds great, but beverage brands spend tens of millions of euros on package design. And a recycled bottle doesn't offer the appeal that industries may desire. Look at the vibrant colors of this bottle and compare with the color of a recycled bottle. Emmanuel, can you explain why would a consumer and a brand choose the latter? We understand that brand owners are uh, concerned about uh, losing uh, appeal of their packaging because more circular and more sustainable uh, pa plastic packaging solutions are usually visually less appealing and that they, may, they are concerned about losing consumer recognition. But why don't they take that as an opportunity to really appear as a sustainable business and as a sustainable brand? Why not make less appealing aspects of sustainable solution using less colorants and using more recycled material as a badge of honor. Design to recycle is an important first step. Collection, sorting, recycling and utilizing recycled material all have to be improved and successfully integrated for the circular economy to flow. Retail's experts implement what is needed to succeed and are increasingly working alongside key organizations including Petcor, Waste Free Oceans and the Circular Plastics Alliance to confirm that it is doing everything it can in its sphere of influence to meet EU targets and support the circular economy. And retail encourages all stakeholders to do the same. What if we could recycle all plastic? What if we could cut our energy consumption radically, clean up the oceans? Well, we can.